Northern Germany for the game between Borussia Dortmund and Stahl Bucharest. Stahl Bucharest, winners of this championship in 1986. Well, Borussia Dortmund have had a few problems off the scene in the last seven days. Matthias Sammer, their captain, has had a falling out with Andy Muller, and Muller is out of the side through injury. Borussia Dortmund, though, had a great opportunity inside the opening minute when Tanko put that one over the bar with the goalkeeper completely out of position. 15 minutes in, another opportunity for Borussia Dortmund. Tanko again very much involved, and Lars Ricken trying that shot. It comes off the inside of the post, a let off there for Stal Bucharest. Ricken finds himself moving through the midfield and challenge. Hits a long range shot that hits the upper left post and just carries down. 60 was to get a win in this game. Remember, they drew one and they've lost one. That shot coming on just four minutes after the halftime break. Bloody you for Sal Bucharest. Just putting it a bit too high. Dortmund, though, had an opportunity in the 53rd minute. That one driven right across the face of goal there by Patrick Berger. Berger has been in fire all game long and it's a low instep drive across the mouth of the box, but still yet just gets a hand on it and tips it wide. Four minutes later, there was another chance for Borussia Dortmund. Move down this near touchline. The ball's played in and Herlich on the turn couldn't quite get the power to beat the goalkeeper. Dangerous player, Heiko Hurley. Borussia Dortmund again attacking, this time on the other side. This just 60 seconds later. It's Reinhardt, the fullback. Great cross and a great header there to finish off the move. Lars Ricken, the 18-year-old, scoring the goal. Reinhardt with a tremendous effort down the left side. He beats two players as he hits this long cross across the goal mount where he finds Ricken at the back post. As Stilier comes across the goal mount, he has all the venom is taking him across, and Ricken is very smart here. Instead of trying to hit the ball very hard, you see him just hit the ball very softly, and it gives time for Stilier to continue his movement across the goal mount, and he finds himself with a goal into the far.